Hey, what is up guys, Next here, back with a Minecraft Pocket Edition video, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some last Minecraft Pocket Edition update 0.7.0 information uh, before the actual update, since it's coming out next week or the week after that, but this is pretty much all the information that has been um, gathered over the past couple months uh, waiting for the update, and um, I actually read, before I start the video, I actually read that some of these things that were, I guess you could say, confirmed for 0 0.70 might not even be in 0 0.7.0 because they want to split into updates. Uh, that's what Dan Frisk said anyway, but you know, Jay Burn Hartson did not mention anything about this, so he might be wrong and my, all this stuff might actually go into 0 0.7.0. But all the stuff I'm about to read is from the wiki page from Minecraft Pocket Edition, and all this stuff has been proven uh, from Twitter. I already double checked it, you know, to make sure that the information is correct. Uh, but yeah, let's just get right into it. Uh, and here's all the information for Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.7.0 updates. So first off, uh, they'll be adding buckets, milk and cake and eggs uh, to the next uh, update. And pretty much the buckets will just work like on PC. You'll just get the three things and you'll just tap, uh, you know, the liquid or whatever. The lava, all the lava, all the water. Uh, and this will be really great because now we will be able to make like moats and stuff like that for our castles or maybe even make better mob traps. So water's water going to be a really cool thing with the buckets now. And milk, of course, will come from the cows. Uh, we'll just tap the cows, I guess, and you'll get the milk uh, into your bucket. Also, um, eggs. Uh, I read uh, here it says that the chickens will drop eggs, and the eggs will work the same way as they will on Minecraft PC. So if you ever played Minecraft PC or you've ever seen maybe gameplay of Minecraft Pocket, I mean PC, then it's going to work the same way. The chickens just poop them out randomly in random places. And that's how it'll work in the Minecraft Pocket Edition. So uh, also because of the buckets, the milk, and the eggs, we'll finally be able to make cake with the, all the stuff. So that's pretty awesome, pretty good, and I'm looking forward to that. Um, next thing, the big, the big thing about the big thing that everybody's been talking about for 0.7.0 is the multiplayer. So the multiplayer will be will run through Minecraft um, realms, uh, but they'll be used at the Pocket Edition. Sorry for stuttering, but the Pocket Edition version is going to be called Pocket Realms. And at the be at the beginning, when they first update uh, to 0 0.7.0, they said there's going to be lots of beta testers and free servers, you know, to try out to see uh, how it's handling, how it works. Um, so when it's yeah, that's that's what will happen when it's released to the public. So you know that might, might be weird. Uh, I think we're gonna have to wait a couple updates until the multiplayer is actually perfected, and you know it's just really nice and smooth and just working properly. Um, but yeah, um, next up is uh, there will be usernames in multiplayer. So you know you'll be able to see a person's username. You know, like on top, it'll say yeah, I don't know, iOS next year, World of Gaming TV, or Jack Frost Miner, or Schnung Games, or all those cool people. Uh, you know, we'll be able to see their usernames when we play with them online. Um, when you get there, there will be a Mojang account sign up when you first log in uh, or get the update and you first go into the application. Um, and also the servers. Uh, the way the servers are going to work pretty much is you're going to have to buy them. Uh, and there's, They're saying that most likely you'll be also be able to buy them through in-app purchases. So you'll probably be able to buy like a $10 uh, server, but the thing is, you're gonna have to pay for a subscription. So that's gonna be, yeah, you're gonna have to pay ten dollars every month, or maybe like they'll do some special plan where it's like sixty dollars a year or something like that. Um, but it'll be a monthly plan, though, as I think I've heard, so I think I've read it somewhere. Um, but yeah, so it'll be a monthly plan. It'll cost, I think, I think I'm hearing it's gonna be between ten to twenty dollars, so somewhere in that range. So like, make sure to get like a twenty-five dollar gift card if you want to. Um, Creation server, but when it comes to joining servers, um, then pretty much it's going to be pretty easy. It's free; you don't have to buy anything. And maybe we'll just get one of your rich buddies to buy your buy your server, and then you know, buy a server, and then you can go on that server. And um, also, guys, if I haven't showed you guys but yet, but here are also the way uh, it's going to look: the multiplayer, like joining and stuff like that. Um, so first off, here we have. Let me just get the images. So the, the managing the world, as you can see here, uh, the name is like crepes, beautiful world, or whatever. Um, you just put the names names there. Uh, so that's the name of the server, and then the status place is you can put it online or offline. Which, if you own the server, that's that's going to be your feature. You can put it online or offline, so you know people can't join while you're gone. And the only people who can join your join your server are the invited people. So that's pretty cool. And you can also delete the world and then create a new one if you you know own the server 
thing so that's pretty awesome and you can invite different people so if you want, if you want to invite me you can just press the add button type in my mojek account username and that's how it'll work so next up is how you'll be able to create new worlds in micro pocket edition so as you can see he has the world name you know all typed up and a seed generator for the actual world name which is pretty cool that we'll be able to make like servers with you know our own um, seeds and stuff like that and you can choose the creative or uh, survival game mode and you can just press start and it's pretty, pretty simple uh, I like how it looks now the actual setup and everything it looks really nice and smooth like before and yeah so next up is how you'll be joining these re realms or um, servers in Minecraft Pocket Edition. As you can see, there's realms and there's local. Um, for local, it's pretty much going to work as it's right now. It's the join now option on the left side of the main menu in Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.6.1 and all the versions below before. Um, but pretty much you just click on realms and whatever world, uh, as you can see, in this image I showed you earlier, as you can see right here, um, invited people like Amir, uh, Leaf Builder, Capiche, all those people that are invited, um, this is what the people so they'll see the server that they were invited to and you can you know they can tap on it and they can play and there's like the settings option so you know you can uh, go to the settings I guess you could see different things uh, they didn't show a screenshot of that so we can't see that yet but that's pretty awesome pretty awesome um, and yeah that's pretty much it for multiplayer it's gonna cost you money if you want to own your own server and it's gonna be free if you want to join other people's servers so that's how it's gonna work and this is how it's gonna look the main menu uh, for when it comes to the actual main menu of the multiplayer stuff so um, next up they are going to be adding a new main menu and I guess UI um, for the whole app so in a new main menu there's gonna be four sections they'll be divided into like four sections uh, one part will be the game which is uh, where you can you know make your sign in and get your in-game username uh, you can choose the difficulty the third or first person view um, the d-pad size and the local multiplayer ser multiplayer server uh, you can join that through the game section there's a control section where you can manage the sensi sensitivity the invert y-axis lefty play with touch split controls vibrate when destroy blocks which is <laughs> I have no idea why would somebody would do that just vibrate when destroy locks like you, you know I don't know take a piece of wood and <laughs> I, I don't know <laughs> I'm just making stupid sound effects, but I don't know why somebody would want that. Uh, but yeah, the next section is the controls. Actually, not the control section. The graphics section, which is really cool, guys. I'm really liking this. Um, since there's so many different devices on iOS and all the other devices, uh, there's some slow devices like the iPod Touch 4G or the 3G or the iPhone 4 and iPhone 3G. Um, so because uh, you know these devices are slower and some are faster, you can choose different render distances. You know to you know change different lag, just like on PC, you can change the different render distances, the fancy graphics, beautiful skies, animated water, and all that cool sc stuff. And there's also the experimental graphics, uh, where you will be po maybe this is not actually confirmed, uh, but probably there's gonna be experimental graphics where you can choose like smooth lighting and stuff like that, which there's already a mod for is pretty cool and if you want me to do a, a mod a review on that I'll show you guys the smooth lighting mod um, but last but not least is the sound section where you can just pretty much just change the volume of the in-game music and in-game sound effects um, but there's also going to be adding different uh, bug fixes for Micropuction 0.7.0 and these bug fixes will include that things such as like dice sometimes show up as the wrong color in hand no water animation in iOS devices that can handle, uh, you know, because different iOS devices can't handle uh, different things. Uh, bows aren't destroyed after make, taking maximum damage. Uh, you can't enter the seat on T-Mobile G2. I don't know why that's a problem because I don't have a T-Mobile G2. But for the T-Mobile guys, then T G2 guys, you know, that's gonna be fixed. Uh, torch play placement is incorrect, uh, so they're gonna fix that. Uh, breaking a door destroys or duplicates it. So before of the update, I think I guess it never happened to me. But when you break a door, it completely destroys it. You don't get anything on the ground, or it actually drops you two doors. So. That's cool that they're fixing it. And also crashing when TNT blows up paintings. I have no idea what that happened before, why you know paintings caused you to crash when you blew them up with TNT. But obviously that's gonna be fixed. And also 
Um, I'm not sure how they're gonna fix this because, but uh, cannot see what seed is being entered. And pretty much as you know, when you go on iPhone, you enter the seed. You can't actually see what your seed you're entering because the keyboard covers it up. So I don't know if they're gonna fix that or maybe it's from some other Android devices or something. But they're probably much gonna fix that, and that's pretty much it for the 0.7.0. As far as we know, uh, there might be some other features that they add, but they haven't mentioned yet. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the update or what we have so far. Um, all this stuff you want to go quickly over it, um, quickly over all the things. So they're going to be adding the buckets, milk and cake and eggs. Uh, the eggs will work the same way as on PC. There's the multiplayer, which will be realized through Pocket Realms. Uh, there will be a bunch of beta testers in the beginning. Uh, there will be usernames, and you know, you get to make a free Mojang Mojang account, and it costs to host servers, but it's free to join. There's going to be a new main menu of four sections: the game section, the control section, the graphics section, and the sound crash sound section. There's going to be a bunch of bugs that are going to fix, and that's really all the information for 0.7.0. Um, hopefully, you guys found this video very informative, and it took a while to gather all this information. So. You know, organize it so I can make this into a decent commentary, which it ended up not exactly being the best. But uh, if you could, uh, it would be really helpful. If you guys left a like. Um, it'll just take a couple seconds, and it would be really, I'd be really thankful for that. Uh, but you know, I have to, of course, you know, just, just say, I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys found it informative. Um, I'm going to be posting loads of Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.7.0 gameplay once it comes out, and I'll be doing loads of Minecraft Pocket Edition videos in the future, so if you want and are interested in that, then just subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, but that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.